Mohammed Juniper's taking the briefcase. The headquarters of Zoraxis Defense is on an island in the middle of the Black Sea. Zoraxis is broadcasting all over the world, which means Juniper has set his endgame in motion. This is it, Agent. You'll be walking right into enemy territory. Well, if anyone can pull this off, it's you, Agent. <laughs> Agent Phoenix. The Zoraxis employees are evacuating the building. Juniper must be getting ready to launch the nuclear missiles. Get to the top of the tower. Welcome. Enjoy your ride. All right, you're about halfway there. I think that up ahead. Agent, you've got company. like the heads of state are going to get clear. How do we get this elevator back up and running? Just to show you we're serious. What? Sorry, folks. I need to deal with some technical difficulties. <gasps> wait, 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 agent. Let's not be too hasty. You don't want me, you want Zor. I can tell you who Dr. Zor is. No, no Mr. Juniper. Juniper. I don't I think, think so. Ha! What are you gonna do about it? There's nobody left in this building to stop me. I'm still running the show. Mr. Juniper, you were never running the show. Fabricator. Bye-bye, John. What? Wait! Doctor, I... What? Your move, Agent. Just, uh, focus. You can do this. It 
ignore that. You're almost there. Agency Board of Directors from Agent Supervisor This is my final report on the Juniper incident. Shortly after the television broadcast cut out, Sorax's defense headquarters was destroyed in an enormous blast. The agent at the scene, hereafter referred to as Agent Phoenix, well, we haven't found a body yet, did survive. Right before they disarmed the warheads, Dr. Zor addressed the agent directly. If Zor has taken a personal interest, well, to be plain, it is my strong recommendation that we prepare for direct engagement. Thanks to Agent Phoenix, Zoraxis cannot operate in the dark anymore. Zor's strategy is already changing, and we need to be prepared for anything. <laughs> 